everyone. I'm here to give you a healthy hair tip. If your hair is long enough, it's going to rub against your clothing. And if it is a cotton t-shirt like this, it's not a problem. Cotton, linen, silk, satin are fine. But when you get into unnatural fibers like nylon, rayon, polyester, then when your hair is touching your clothing, it is actually breaking. That has happened to me before because my hair used to be longer and it did lie on my clothing. And every time I would turn my head, I could just feel the strands snapping. And sometimes I just waited until I got home. Most of the time, this was when I was at work. Other times, I was able to find something, pins or something in my purse to put my hair up because I just couldn't take it. So. I just took my hair down. I'm, I know I'm not going to wear it down because I have to put on a jacket with this dress and the jacket is not a natural fiber and I don't want to break my hair off so I'm going to put it to the side. try to do minimal like pulling and tugging on my hair. So I have this top and it is nylon and rayon. So what I do, instead of just putting this on and allowing my hair to snap, break as I'm putting it on, what I normally do is tie a scarf on my head and I just make sure no hair is sticking out I pin all my hair in And then I put the top on. So again, this is to prevent breaking and snapping of your hair strands. Because that's not going to happen with the scarf on. See? And you are able to protect your hair this way. And because this is a turtleneck, even though my hair isn't long, it still would touch that part of, of the shirt. So what I would do is, if I just had to wear this, I'll pin my hair up. Just wouldn't want to take a chance of breaking my hair. So, and I'm just putting it in two buns right now, but however you want to put it up, just make sure it isn't touching. So, I don't have any hair that would rub against this fabric. And again, when I prepare to take the shirt off, I would do the same thing. 
just ton my hair in a silk or satin scarf. And make sure all my hair is protected. And you might say, like, well, if I just do this once or twice, it's not going to hurt my hair. It will. I don't care if you do it one time. It will. And if you keep doing it over time, you're going to see breakage. So... As it pulls over my hair, again, it's no harm or hurt done to my hair, and that is that. I'm going to be sharing more healthy hair tips because the truth is everyone's hair grows at a growth rate of one fourth inch to a half inch per month. That's the average. Some may grow more, some may be less, but that is the average. If you're not retaining that length, it may appear that your hair is not growing, but it is. It's growing. You wouldn't need to touch up your color or Touch up your relaxer if you have one, if your hair weren't growing. So it's growing. It's just that it's breaking. So that is my tip of the day. And if you have to wear your hair down, if you don't want to pin it up, I would recommend wearing a cotton t-shirt or linen, silk, or satin, so that your hair can just glide over the fabric without snapping and breaking.